I didn't expect to enjoy this game as much as I do, and I even plan on having other reviews if I reach a certain milestone, like 750 hours, or maybe even a thousand hours, just to talk about my experience. I know those hours sound crazy right now, but I can imagine it happening over time. Yeah, I'm really making things hard on myself. It was bad enough when I made that video, but fast forward nearly two years later, and here we are. My first 1000 hour review, goddammit. I've made a bunch of 50 hour reviews, I've made plenty of 100 hour reviews, I've even made 500 hour reviews, but a 1000 hour review? Yeah, I'm starting the year with Go Big or Go Home. I do have another game with over a thousand hours that I plan on reviewing one day, and I'll let you guys know what that is at the end of the video. <sighs> but I haven't made a Balloons Tower Defense video in a while, and this milestone seemed like a good reason to. I went over a lot of basic things in my first BTD6 review, so I'd recommend watching that first, but this time I want to go over the type of things only a player with 1000 hours can tell you, and simply how I enjoy the game to even get me this far. Because let's be honest, what the hell am I doing with over a thousand hours on this damn monkey balloon game? Like, as I'm making this video, I'm starting to get worried that I'm only halfway there to making my 2,000 hour review. <laughs> like, god damn. So, what's the problem here? Am I a sweaty tryhard at this balloon slaughtering simulator who's addicted and can't stop playing and that I've become a monkey god to all you peasants? Nah, man, I've just been casually playing this game every day for a few years, you feel me? Like, I'm not even that good. I fucking suck. Okay, I'm not that bad. I'm definitely better than most of you, so shut up. Damn, am I pressing people about a balloon monkey game? Is that how bad things have gotten? I don't even care that much. Like, I just casually have a little balloon session and move on. It's nothing serious, I swear. I enjoy tower defense games, this one has a lot of replayability, and it just so happens to have monkeys and balloons, so if you can't get past that, then who's really the child here? The one with a thousand hours on Balloon Monkey Fucker 6, or you? Yeah, that's what I thought. But with all that nonsense aside, it really is crazy hitting this milestone, and I definitely have this game's replayability to thank for that, cause hopefully this milestone gets me some views, you feel me? Cause time is money, and goddamn a thousand hours is a lot of time. But there's so much to go over when it comes to the replayability and how I even made it this far. Let's start by taking a look at my profile so you can get an idea of how I play the game, and to show off these impressive ass medals. Okay, a lot of them aren't impressive, but I am a bit of a completionist in this game, but only when it comes to certain things. Like for co-op, I don't have nearly as many medals, and same goes with the races and the boss events. Most of my time is spent completing maps solo, and if you noticed, I also enjoy the Odyssey a lot. It's just a fun and casual way of playing the game, and I've completed just about all of them so far. Impoppable is also one of my favorite ways to play the game, and I like it more than Chimps because it's just as long and more casual. I also can't forget Monkey Teams in the Golden Balloon though, a nice little addition to the game. You can see my favorite heroes and towers. Now don't get mad at me, but as a Jew, you know I had to go with Benjamin. I used to really like that Oban strategy for Chimps mode, and I just think Etienne is really convenient. And shout out to the Best Tower, the Necromancer, and the Free Tower. Not to forget this impressive daily chest that is aging like fine wine, but after showing you my stats, I wonder how most of you differ from me or the similarities. Like, am I crazy for not caring about the bosses that much and caring more about the Odyssey? Am I bad for not having a bunch of race medals or chimp medals compared to the easier medals? Or, and hear me out, or am I just cooler than you for naming all of my monkeys? Okay, just to be clear, I do like Balloonarius, but I don't like too many bosses after that. I do respect the bosses and the people who can beat them, especially on that harder difficulty. But man, they're just not chill enough for me. Especially those goddamn races. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy a good race here and there, but I've seen some people do some crazy shit, and it's just not my vibe, dude.
Okay, listen, listen, I know there's people who take this game more seriously and probably hate me right now. You know, the people who can be really good at races and have every chip medal and are just gods at the game, right? Meanwhile, I'm over here chilling with my 1000 hours and I'll still pay monkey money to continue a game I lost 5 times just to make sure I got the medal. We're just not the same, I'm built different. Alright, I'll obviously admit those type of players are better than me. But hey man, we need players like me. Just look at all these achievements I got. You acting like I don't put the work in. There's other ways of showing your dedication without being a sweaty monkey. Like look at how decorated and iced out my monkeys are. Whenever there's something badass in the trophy store, you know I'm buying it cause I have all these trophies from all the damn odysseys I do. I work hard to take care of my monkeys. I'm also veteran level 9. Do you know how long it takes me to level up now? I hit my first veteran level at 625 hours, and now at over 1000 hours, I'm at veteran level 9. If you really know about this grind, then drop a comment down below telling me your veteran level. I need to know about my fellow soldiers and comrades. But you want to know about something I really like? And no, I'm not talking about Adora. One of the things I look most forward to is the collection events where you earn Insta Monkeys and you can play on certain maps for bonus rewards. It's extra exciting because these collection events normally happen around certain holidays. And do you know what I have to show for it? All these goddamn Insta Monkeys. I know I might be a little poor in monkey money right now, but look how rich I am with Insta Monkeys. Do you have any idea how comfortable I am? I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I be using my Insta Monkeys. Yeah, on certain expert maps during the collection events, maybe I go a little crazy. I use an Insta Monkey to get another Insta Monkey. What a crime, lock me up, but here's what I do to justify it. I only use Insta Monkeys that I have duplicates of, because one of my long term goals is to get the very rare Insta Monkey Black Border. You have to get one of every Insta Monkey variation for one tower to get this border, so I'll only use a duplicate. And like I said, I only like using them for the collection events or if it really benefits me which is rare. It can also just make life easier in the early game, and I haven't even used a tier 5 Insta Monkey yet for that achievement. So you shouldn't be judging me too badly. I think the only people we should be judging are the ones who bought double cash mode. I never bought any of this, so you can't judge me that much. I only spent the $5 I needed to get this game, and that's it. But one thing some of you will judge me on is how I feel about the co-op. But I'm gonna stop you right there, because I don't dislike co-op mode, I just don't play it that much. It doesn't seem like anything is wrong with it, I've just been doing my own thing getting medals. I've played it a decent amount a year or two ago, but understandably none of my friends really play this game, let alone have anything close to a thousand hours. I used to play co-op with my friends sometimes, and it can be a very fun and different way of playing the game. I should try to get more of the co-op medals, I've been meaning to play more co-op, but I remember one of my problems was trying to play on the harder maps, and I would get some pretty bad teammates. It made me wish there was some type of skill based matchmaking for the harder maps and difficulties. Like on an easy or medium map, I don't mind playing with one of you noobs, but on a harder expert map, I'm gonna need one of my comrades. Speaking of features we'd want in this game, I actually predicted one of the very features we have in this game. Not to mention when I potentially came up with the idea of the Ninja Kiwi Archive, and there's proof at the end of this video on the screen. I don't know, I'm pretty cool. Well other than the conspiracy theories, I actually did predict one of the features in this game, and it's not anything crazy. I'm sure many of you could have saw it coming, but the difference is, I made this video over a year ago predicting it on the record. Like I have proof. What do you have? Yeah, I can only hope Ninja Kiwi is still listening because I still want to know how much money my drug dealer makes. I'm sure there's some other things I can ask for, but I'm really not complaining when I have this much playtime. They update this game enough to keep me interested, and I still get excited when most updates come out, especially the ones with more content like a new map, tower, or hero. It's actually really cool to see how the community reacts to a new tower or hero. Generally things are positive and you might be surprised with how big the community is. I never thought to look it up, but take a look at how well BTD6 is doing for itself. These are the numbers for all of 2022 and the start of 2023, and would you look at that. A strong healthy player base, and I expect it to be like that for a while. 
It's honestly crazy how big this game is and how well it maintains its player base. That also proves I'm not crazy for playing this game a lot. I've thought about playing other tower defense games, and even though there's not too much competition, I've seen some good ones I want to try out. To be fair, some of them are other Balloons Tower Defense games like BTD Battles 2, and maybe even Balloons Monkey City. I thought about playing Kingdom Rush, and this one I saw on Steam looks interesting, and I guess Plants vs Zombies is a popular tower defense game, but obviously Balloons is on another level. But like I said in my last BTD6 review, this is probably the best tower defense game we have so far. It has pretty much everything you would ask for. It has the good gameplay, it has the replayability, it has the charm, it has the love and care put into it, it gets new updates, it's good for new and veteran players, it's a good solo and co-op experience, it has a lot of players, Adora's fine as fuck, and there's monkeys and balloons. What more can you ask for? Therefore, I am crowning BTD6 as the first 1000 hour review on my channel. Therefore, the best game of all time. For now, is there another game that I have over a thousand hours in and that I plan on reviewing? Shit, you made it this far so I might as well tell you. If you watch my Paladins review, you might know what it is because I mentioned it in that video. It's probably more justified to have a thousand hours in that game compared to BTD6, but that game is Smite. I'll just tell you that Smite is a game that I've been playing for a long time now, and I have much stronger opinions on that game because BTD6 is more easygoing, but I'm excited to make a video on Smite so be on the lookout for that. I'd also really appreciate a like. Because do you know how long a thousand hours is? Plus you made it this far in the video so you must like me right? I'm flattered but come on now, like the damn video. I'd also recommend subscribing because if you did make it this far, that means you're really cool and we should stay in touch so why don't you just subscribe? I don't only make Balloons Tower Defense videos but you could check on the screen for some of my other ones. And... We made it guys. We goddamn made it. The first 1000 hour review. We really on top right now. This is what it feels like. Feels like to have a thousand hours on a game about monkeys fucking balloons. I hate my life.